Oh my goodness, I feel like one of those Instagram models <laughs> with this. It is so long. It's pretty, but it's kind of like, okay. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an exciting video for you. I have never worn a wig before and I've been wanting to try it out for quite some time and guess what I did? I finally went on to Amazon and I finally went and got me a wig and I have waited. I have had this like sitting on my floor for two weeks because <laughs> I haven't been able to film. <laughs> Anyways, um, silly me. Did not know it didn't I don't think it said on the description but when I bought this I didn't know it was gonna come with a wig cap and it says two piece wig cap mm. ended up buying a pack of wig caps as well I'm not sure where that is there's like different assorted colors or different styles or I don't know I'm just not getting into the wig game I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I'm super excited to get this one. I figured I'd just get one because I almost went crazy and got several of them because I've been wanting, ugh, I've been having an itch to do something else with my hair, but to save my hair and it's all it's, um, keep, and to keep it intact, I guess is a better way to say it, just to keep it intact so I don't have to bleach or color. I figured I'd go to wigs. Because my husband likes my hair brown anyway, but if I feel like I need to have a color, then I can have a color. Okay, so the one that I got is like kind of like an ombre. It's like got the dark roots and it's like pink or whatever you want to call that color. What else is in here? Okay, nothing else. Just um, a little thing. All right, so like I said, never wore a wig before. This is my first time, so we are going to figure this out together and hope for the best. <sighs> All right, which by the way, this is a, uh, I think that is charisma, charisma, charisma. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Let's take her out and see how pretty she is. Cause I've kind of been dying to do this, but I wanted to wait and I wanted it to be a first impressions and you know, all that jazz. Oh, she's so is that what you're supposed to do? I hear everybody else call them she's, like they're hers, like they're living. But it is pretty. It is so pretty. Oh, this is a lot of hair. Does it tell me how long it is? I don't know, but it just keeps going. Look at that. Golly. And it's actually, okay, so like just touching of it, it's like actually pretty soft. Now, it doesn't obviously feel like real hair because it's synthetic. It just says soft texture, but it says minimum shedding, minimum tangle, heat resistant, smooth fashion hair, varieties, daily style, and party and cosplay is what this one falls underneath. And I will put all the information of where, well, all the information. I'm also going to put the link up to where you can also get this if you like this one as well in the uh, description. So let's take off this hat. Whew, excuse me. All right, so I'm not gonna just jump on in, but I guess I'm looking at, okay, from what other people have said, you know, obviously like on this right here, you don't want this to be so tight. You wanna like pluck out some hairs. So, got two different tweezers and I think I'm gonna use these ones. And I'm just going to, you don't want, they say you don't wanna overdo it. You want baby hairs too, but, um, I mean, I guess I have a few right here, so I guess I can get away with doing some baby hairs. Never really thought of them much of, you know, like a thing, but apparently they are. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't want to mess this up. <laughs> uh, 
that this could take like 30 minutes, seeing that I'm a newbie. Oh, I'm so scared. Does anybody want to come do this for me? <laughs> Why am I so scared to do this? See, I don't want to, ugh. I'm kind of going to go for it with my fingers. Oh, this is making me sad. And you just want to like pull it out. Oh, okay, hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> I don't like doing this. Can I just say that? Can I just tell you that I'm really afraid I'm gonna like mess it up? Okay, you know what? Going back to the tweezers, but this time I'm not getting the really like small ones. I'm getting these like flat head, these flat head tweezers, and I'm just going to start plucking away. Ugh. Like I said, does anybody want to come do this for me? Brittany, get into it. Just get into it. Quit. <sighs> I don't know which tweezers to use. Am I doing this right? I can kind of see how this could take 30 minutes. I have hair all over me. And all over the floor now. You can see that now. It's my hair. One. <laughs> two. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Is this really necessary? One. Two. One. Two. Three. Four. They say to be very careful when doing this because um, you don't want to overdo it. But I've also heard that if you do overdo it, you can easily just take some powder, use it sometimes too, and do like on your hairline just to kind of like fill in like gaps. Like if you look over here, like I have less, I have less hair on this side than I do on this side right here. So sometimes when my hair is pulled back, I will do the powder trick, which is where you just take a dark eyeshadow well obviously um my hair is dark so i would be taking like a brown or a black to fill that in and it gives the illusion that your hair is more full and not so thinned out right there no. so this is just thinning the hairline just a repeat to make it look more realistic but i don't know i can kind of start to see, i'm starting to see like a difference like it's looking it's looking all right i'm not i don't think i'm doing a bad job Okay, I'm just going to try to brush some of this out. Oh, y'all see this? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It still looks pretty tight, but it's not like, it's not as bad as what it was. I don't know, can you tell? Now that I've done that plucking, I think I'm going to wait to do the baby hairs when I like put it on because I want to make sure. So you can either wear a wig cap or not. Seeing as how this is my first time to wear a wig, I'm actually going to try with a wig cap because I honestly don't know how this is going to go. Okay, so it is two. Two piece. Duh, Brittany. I think for now, like, once I get a little bit better, probably gonna actually like braid my hair because they say you want it as flat as you can possibly get it. But for now, just for trying this on for the first time. Bun, check. I don't think I could probably get that flatter, but. Okay, now this has, I just want it to look on here real quick before I put that on. Cause I don't want to be looking like a crazy with just a wig cap on and then showing you guys this. This is the inside of my wig cap. So it looks like you can adjust it. Can you, oh, you can't even see that. Sorry. The inside of my wig cap and it looks like I've got these like little strappy things here that I'm assuming just tightens it up. And here's the little clips. There's two. Okay. So there's three clips. There's one, two, and then three. This last one is at the bottom. Here is my wig cap. Apparently, I think you're supposed to have, mm, let's see, I've got a mirror up here, so 
Let's hope this goes well. Because I'm not really sure. Oh my gosh, is this too tight? Are there different size wig caps? Is it just a one size fit all? I think you're supposed to do it like What? Somebody come help me, please. I feel like I'm failing already. All right, wig cap on. Okay. Ta-da, wig cap on. I think you're supposed to um, put this on upside down is what I see a lot of people do, so. Uh, Cheers. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm gonna get makeup on my white shirt. Hold up. Ugh. Okay, there's the back. Somebody please come help me. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, let's try this again. This time I'm going to try, this time I'm going to put these in here first. And just kind of hold the front. Can you see that? Like, I have no idea what you can and cannot see right now. And I found, okay, here's the back clip. My hair might need to be flatter. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> okay. All right. So, do a little bit of adjusting here. Hi, yeah. Hey, you. I love you. How do people make this look realistic? I mean, ah, I'm like pulling it off. Can you pull it off? This is like not going too well. Somebody please come help me. <laughs> Seriously, getting a little frustrated. Okay, but for real, I'm loving the color. I'm not sure how to do this. What is up with this front? Okay, so I kind of want it more to the side because my hair naturally like kind of goes to one side because I have like... I'm not hating this, but I kind of see where this like needs to have some like baby hairs. Okay, let's take this off. and try it without a wig cap. I feel like more than anything, that thing is getting in the way. Whew. Round two. Let's see here. I still think there's something like funny, like that I'm not figuring out, that I'm not seeing like right here. And this hair is just like falling out. Kudos to all the girls who know how to do wigs. Like, slay them. Like, put them on. Because this is so hard. And I was so excited about the wig, but I have to say right now, I'm super frustrated and I'm not liking it. Because I just can't get this to do right. I mean, it looks cute. I like the color. I don't know. What do you think? I could probably make this do. Oh, there's my hair. I guess that's why you need a wig cap. <laughs> I think if my hair was braided down, it would do better. I really do. Like, if my hair was braided down and flatter instead of in this bun, like, this bun is just not, it's not working for me. We gonna cut her. Okay. See, like I didn't cut much, just like a little bit, just to kind of in the front. No wig cap did not work for me, so let's put this baby back on and try again. So good enough. 
I'm actually going to try doing just the back and then coming back to the front and then doing the front. <laughs> no, that didn't work. Okay, so I have better luck doing it front to back. This is a big stretch because I have a bunch of hair. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Got it back on again. Now again, I do want it to the side. But overall, I think it is really cute. I like this color. Don't think people would recognize me when I went all blonde. Not too, I guess that was like two years ago. People did not recognize me. When, until they saw my husband and kids around. And then they were like, oh, hey, I didn't recognize you. <laughs> Like straight up told me they couldn't recognize me. Wow, this thing is so long. And see, I I don't know. I've already like trimmed both sides. Oh, it's so pretty. It makes me want to just like go do my hair like this. My husband wouldn't have a fit. What do you think? Look, again, for all this. Can you even see that? It's a whole lot of hair. I think it's on pretty, like it's on pretty secure. Like it's not going nowhere. The only thing is, my wig cap is showing. And I don't think that's supposed to happen. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I think that's right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to touch up this like I'm going to like continue like pulling some out because I don't think I don't think it but other than that where's my baby hairs I don't know that looks good yeah. and even if I had like a hat on like here's my hat oh I need to loosen it up for sure Never did I think like having a bunch of hair was a bad thing until now. <laughs> but it's probably because it's like just in a bun. Like it's not all the way like in the back of my hair. But I still think this is so cute. And I probably would wear this out just like this. I have a feeling this is going to tangle really easy. Because just with me like flipping and flopping like right now. It's tangling up. So I'd have to like bring a brush with me for sure. But once I can perfect this, um, okay, it's pulling back. Oh, now my camera is dying. Anyways, <laughs> here is my, <laughs> it's not how to put on a wig because obviously I don't know how to put on a wig, but <laughs> this is my first impressions and let me go get a new battery and come right back. <laughs> I probably would not wear this out right now until I figure out how to wear a wig. <laughs> but overall for my first wig experience, like it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. But then again, I at worst, but at best it did not go near to what I was expecting. <sighs> I still feel like it's kind of bulky up here, like on the sides. I really think that like having your hair like not when you have as much hair as I do like it's so thick and it's so long that it needs to be like braided and like up the side and not just like in a big like <laughs> bun at the base of your head like at the, or at the nape of your head or at, at your nape. I need to like pluck some more hairs out. But other than that I don't think it's that bad. I, I really don't. I spent <sighs> What was it like 13 was this a 13 dollar one or the 17 dollar one i don't know it was under 20 dollars okay so for like a 20 dollar wig like this is way better than what i expected as far as quality wise i don't know if i'm actually going to try it says heat resistant but my chi is one of the older ones and it doesn't have a little knobby thing to change the heat setting so i mean i wouldn't 
curl it anyway. I think it's really pretty straight being a colored wig. I just want it to get a wig and have fun with it. Once, like I said, I get better at wearing, like figuring, figuring out how to wear it. I'll get back to you guys. <laughs> And I will be wearing it out. I think that would be fun because I get those itches where I want to do something fun, crazy, different with my hair. And obviously colored hair isn't different anymore. It's, you know, becoming quite a thing with wigs and as well as like people bleaching their hair and then coloring it to whatever crazy color that they want or rainbow or, you know, <laughs> however they want to color it. But I think it, I think it's fun and I'm going to wear it out eventually. Gotta get this, this baby in shape where it doesn't look as wiggish. Cause like, I don't think I'd wear it out of the house just like this. It is kind of thin. It's to be expected for a $20 wig. If it was like a couple hundred dollar wig, I'd expect it to be a little bit better quality. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Would you get it? Anybody want to give me any tips <laughs> on wigs, on <laughs> like maintenance, upkeep, styling, how to wear a wig? I mean, I've watched a ton of videos on how to wear a wig and how to put on a wig, but I don't know. Did I fail? I kind of feel like I failed. Like, I still feel like it could be better with hair flying in my face. Anyways. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching if you actually watched to the end of this. I hope it was some kind of entertainment more or less. Because it wasn't any kind of informative. But um. Until next time my friends. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And I will see you guys next time. Stay well. I love you guys. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye. I could so dye my hair like this, but my husband would not be happy. He would not be <laughs> happy. I'm loving this color. Aren't you? For real though, I want it for under twenty dollars. I cannot wait to get this thing the way that I want it and wear it out in public. I so would, so would. This is fun. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. <laughs> Can't take life too seriously, you guys. Gonna go. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. I don't want to take it off.